Hey guys, I'm at here, and today we have the Hello Plum smartwatch and the W10 Pro Series X. In this video, we're going to be comparing both of the smartwatches to find out which one is the best Apple Watch Series 10 replica for you. Before we start the video, if you're new to the channel, a subscribe would be highly appreciated. So let's start the comparison. First of all, as you can judge from the boxes, on the left side we have the Hello Plum smartwatch and on the right side we have the W10 Pro Series X. Starting from the body, both of the smartwatches replicate the latest Apple Watch Series 10 and come in a thinner frame and on the left side we get the new speaker holes as of now the w10 pro series x comes in a matte frame while the hello plum is available in both glossy frame as well as a matte frame let's try out the apple watch series 10 case so on the hello plum it perfectly fits it the speaker holes and everything is on the same location as the apple watch series 10 and the no key as well as the side key work perfectly and if you try it on the w10 pro series x it also fits it perfectly the speaker holes and everything is on the same location as the apple watch series 10 10 and the no key as well as the side key is working absolutely fine. So the good thing is that both of the smartwatches are perfectly compatible with the Apple Watch Series 10 cases. Then both of them are also compatible with the Apple Watch Series 10 straps and we also get the strap locks at the back using which the straps won't come out and you'll have to press the button and then push the straps to get them out just like the Apple Watch. Both smartwatches are using an AMOLED display because of which the overall saturation of the colors looks quite good although in my opinion the color vibrancy and saturation is better on the w10 pro series x and the resolution also looks better on the w10 pro series x not just that if you talk about the quality of the top glass it also looks better on the w10 pro and here is a look at the display size and the bezel size the bezels look thinner on the w10 pro which naturally leads to a bigger display size other than that if you talk about the smoothness then it is almost the same on both of them but still if we have to give them a rank then the w10 pro ranks above the hello plum the overall smoothness and everything looks better on the w10 pro if you compare the processor then the performance is quite similar on both of the smartwatches although the battery timing is handled better on the hello plum other than that if you compare all of the functions they are working quite similar on both of the smartwatches and the overall speed of the smartwatch and everything is similar on both of them if you talk about the transitions then they look better on the w10 pro both of the smartwatches are based on watchOS 11 so we have the widgets page from bottom to top. Hello Plum shows a blurred version of the wallpaper at the back while the W10 Pro has light and dark mode for the widgets page. You can tap and hold on the widgets on both of them if you want to rearrange them. On W10 Pro you can pin any of them while on Hello Plum you can tap and hold on any of them and move it to the top. On Hello Plum you can only delete these widgets and add them back from here while on W10 Pro you can also add more widgets from here. The widgets on both of them are interactive and you can access the applications directly from here. Other than that we also get the app history here and we also have the control center. Although the resemblance with watchOS is better on the Hello Plum. Then if you talk about the vertical cellular menu style, it looks better in the Hello Plum in my opinion the icons are more similar to the original watchOS. On the other hand the W10 Pro has transitions which are a little bit similar to the Apple watchOS. While in the Hello Plum we only get the app opening transitions while there is no app quitting transition like the watchOS. If you talk about the UI of the applications then it is more similar similar to the original on the Hello Plum and as you can judge from the app icons that the W10 Pro is given the style of the Apple Watch OS but the overall UI is not exactly the same like the Apple Watch because of which the Hello Plum takes the win in the Apple Watch UI. Hello Plum comes with only one built-in watch face. Other than that, you can install 19 watch faces from the dial market inside it and in total you can keep 20 watch faces in it. Other than these 20 watch faces, you can install one watch face from the dial market inside it which totals to 21 watch faces. On the other hand, if we talk about the W10 Pro, then it comes with 12 built-in watch faces inside it. You cannot uninstall any of them. Other than that, you can install one watch face from the dial market and one from the gallery. Hello Plum also allows you to edit some of the watch faces just like the Apple Watch S where you can change the theme as well as the cloak style on the watch. While this option is not available in the W10 Pro, Hello Plum uses the Levere application which is a replica of the Apple Watch application. If we talk about its style market, it contains a lot of watch faces inside it and all of them are available for totally free. And as I told you earlier, whichever one you want to install, just tap on the install button. Then other than this built-in watch face, you can tap on the scrolls icon and uninstall all of these watch faces and install your favorite ones from the dial market. On the other hand, the Microwear W10 Pro Series X uses the MActive Pro application which also shows ads in the beginning and if you talk about its dial market and it also contains a lot of watch faces and almost all of them are available for totally free. There are a few watch faces which are paid 
But the good thing is that the watchOS 11 watch faces are available for totally free. And if you want to get access to all of the dials, then you'll have to activate the membership for that. If you talk about the screen time, then the Hello Plum has a maximum time of 60 seconds or you can use the always on display option using which the display can stay on on the watch face until the battery runs out. While on the other hand, if you talk about the W10 Pro Series X, then its maximum screen time is 60 seconds and after 60 seconds of inactivity on the home screen, the display is going to turn off or turn on the screen off dial. And talking about the screen off dial, the Hello Plum comes with two styles, one with the pointer clock and one with the digital clock. On the Hello on the screen of dial can stay on until the battery runs out so it has always on display option for both the watch face as well as the screen of dial and the w10 pro also comes with two screen of dial styles one with the pointer clock and one with the digital clock and it can also stay on for the whole day or until the battery runs out talking about the gestures both of them have the palm gesture to turn off the display and the raise to wake gesture to turn on the display. Other than that, both of them also have the tap to wake option, but it only works for 5 seconds when the display goes off and if more than 5 seconds have passed by, the tap to wake option will stop working on both of them. One thing that I like about the Hello Plum is that it wakes up the display on the same screen where it went off, but on the W10 Pro Series X, if the display went off in any other application, it won't matter because it will wake up the display on the home screen. When you receive a new notification, both of them wake up the display and show a banner prompt. The Hello Plum also plays a tune while the W10 Pro does not. And both of them can also play a tune when you receive a new notification. You cannot customize it on the Hello Plum. But on the W10 Pro Series X, you can go to settings and here scroll down to sounds and touch. Then if you scroll down, we have the notification tune here. You can choose any of them from here. Here's how the notification center looks like on both of them. Both of them do not have stacked notifications. Here's how the notification looks like. Both of them do not support scrolling, but the Hello Plum does support some emojis. And as far as I have checked, it supports some of the mainly used smiley emojis as well as the hand gestures. Both smartwatches are advertised to come with a storage capacity of 1GB. To take advantage of the storage, you can store local music in both of the smartwatches and listen to it directly on the smartwatch. And not just that, both of them have the Bluetooth earphones option using which you can connect your wireless earphones with it and listen to the songs stored on the smartwatch directly on the earbuds. Then you can also store pictures in both of them and not just that, you can also create them as watch face using which you can store many wallpapers in the smartwatches and use them as a custom watch face whenever you want. Then you can also record sound directly on the smartwatch and you can also store TXT files in the smartwatch which can help you in storing grocery list or some important pins. Hello Plum comes with heart rate and blood oxygen level checker while the W10 Pro comes with blood pressure, blood oxygen, heart rate, ECG and the body temperature checker. If you use both of them while not on the wrist, both of them have started to show values which means both of them do not have weight detection and cannot detect if you are wearing the smartwatch or not. So let's test them with the oximeter. First of all, I have the Hello Plum here. So the values shown on the Hello Plum are quite similar to the oximeter. The values on the Hello Plum goes high when it goes high on the oximeter and it goes low when it goes low on the oximeter. So it has passed the oximeter test. And now let's test out the heart rate checker on the W10 Pro Series X. And the values shown on the W10 Pro are also similar to the oximeter and it has also passed the oximeter test. If you compare the general applications, then you can also add alarms directly in both of the smartwatches. On the Hello Plum, you can use the imported songs as custom ringtones for the alarms. While on the W10 Pro, you can go to settings and here scroll down to sound and touch and here we have the alarm ringtone option where you can choose any of these ringtones for the alarms. Here's how the alarm is shown on both of them. Both of them ring as well as vibrate while the Hello Plum also has the delay or the snooze option. After that we have the timer so let's set the timer for 1 second and when the timer ends the Hello Plum only vibrates while the W10 Pro vibrates and beeps twice. Then we have the stopwatch on both of them. You can start the stopwatch and add as many laps as you want. You can also take a look at all of the laps while the stopwatch is running. If you try to go back, the Hello Plum does not allow you to go back. While on the W10 Pro, the stopwatch continues to run even in the background. Then if you compare the calculator function, then the basic functionalities like multiplication, division, subtraction and addition work absolutely fine in both of them. If you try to use percentage with addition, then it does not work fine in the W10 Pro and if you try it on the Hello Plum it works absolutely fine. Now let's try the percentage feature with multiplication so it has worked fine in the W10 Pro and if you try it on the Hello Plum it works fine on it. So the calculator is fully functional in the Hello Plum 
while on the w10 pro all of the functions work absolutely fine but if you try to add a percentage of a number then it won't work fine in the end if you talk about the smart applications the hello plum as well as the w10 pro comes with chat gpt as well as translation the hello plum shows the question as well as the answer in chinese so it does not work fine while the w10 pro did not work for me obviously i'm gonna keep trying and if it does work for me i'll show you how to use chat gpt and a translation on it both of them also come with the noise application in the end if we talk about the battery life then i've been working on this video for about 45 to 50 minutes now and when i started recording this video the hello plum was at 91 percent and the w10 pro was at 84 percent hello plum has lost eight percent of the battery while w10 pro lost six percent of the battery in this time so the difference is probably because of the battery size as the hello plum comes with 300 million pair hours of battery capacity while the w10 pro comes with a 370 5 million pair hours of battery capacity inside it and with this we have covered everything in the hello plum and the w10 pro so guys which one would you go for in my opinion the hello plum is a better watch os replica it also comes in the latest jet black color the overall ui is more similar to the watch os the application is also better in my opinion while on the other hand the w10 pro is a good smartwatch but is not an exact replica of the watch os the icons and everything is a bit different compared to the apple watch os overall both of them are great smartwatches and according to me both of them are recommended and if you would like to place an order you can find the link in the description box below and I would really appreciate if you can use those links to purchase the smartwatch. For the upcoming videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. I will catch you in the next one. Until next time, this is iMat. Peace.